Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and welcome to the new and improved ArnoldArrett.us. Now, don't get too comfortable because the uh, ArnoldArrett.us is going to be moving to mucusfreelife.com very soon, but this is the website, and I wanted to just take some time and briefly go over some of the highlights of the website and uh, oftentimes I think people don't realize how much information is actually on the site in the libraries and it's a great research tool for anybody that's interested in the mucus's diet healing system a lot of free information here so like I said maybe I will make an updated version of this video when we uh, migrate to mucusfreelife.com. There's also some other things that we're in the process of doing. Once we move to mucusfreelife.com, we're going to uh, uh, possibly create a, uh, a membership site and kind of a, a forum that you could subscribe to that would kind of have access to uh, myself and other people that practice the mucus's diet, and we might have some interesting uh, some interesting things some have uh, some question and answer sessions with brother air or myself or you know we'll do something to make it uh, worth everybody's while we also have a couple uh, books coming out uh, some ebooks the annotated version of the mucus's diet i'll talk much more about that and show you some highlights of uh, that particular book but without further ado, let me just go through some of this ArnoldArrett.us with you. And I put this together a couple years ago, basically to, as a community service. I want people all over the world to know about the works of Professor Arnold Errett. I want them to know about what folks have been doing that I know been practicing the mucus's diet for more than 30 years and just do my as they say do do my share for cleaner air <laughs> you know what i mean i truly believe that if we can get into this consciousness and we can go down this path that we can transform this world in an unprecedented manner in a way that is probably unimaginable to most people. Most people aren't thinking in the direction that we are thinking in. Uh, I mean, what kind of a world would we be in if, if we're eating fruits and green leafy vegetables and we clean ourselves up? That means that we, when we, when humans use the restroom, instead of needing to be to like processed and go through all of this. Uh, this really crazy pro processes to clean it you're actually going to the restroom and you have the potential of growing a an apple tree or growing or something you know if you eat the seeds I and mean, that's the only way humans can actually be a, a, a full participant in the proper circle of life is uh, basically be fruit eaters that's the only thing that actually makes sense now I'm not saying that everybody needs to just go and eat fruit that's not what Professor Arnold Eric was saying uh, it's all about the transition you can be transitioning for 30 40 50 years or more you can transition as however long you need to transition but the principles are what's important. The principles of understanding how the transition diet works is going to give you a, a leg up on everybody that's out here that's talking about plant-based lifestyles and veganism and raw foodism and all that kind of stuff. Most people that go down these paths that do not transition properly end up falling in harm's way in some, at, by, at some point. It might be a couple years, it might be 10 years, it might be 15 years, but everybody that I've seen that has really not embraced the transition properly have uh, ended up falling into some kind of problems. And they're not necessarily equipped to take a step back 
and transition because they've been too hard on themselves. You know, if they're is in raw foods and they find that cooking food is totally evil, then when they go through an elimination where they need some cooked mucus-free foods to, before they had to take a step back to, to take two steps forward, if they're too indoctrinated into that thinking of I can never have any kind of uh, cook food ever again is 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 problematic because you're cutting off you're cutting yourself off from something that you may need if you don't need it if you've been raw for the past 20 years you've also been mucusless for the past 20 years and, and you're you know been eating oranges for the past five years or what whatever level you're at it's all good I'm not telling you to, that you have to step back I'm saying that it's important for people to understand that you can do whatever you need to do in order to transition. You're not off the diet just because you ate something that you shouldn't have eaten. And one of the reasons why I emphasize understanding those transitionary menus and some of these items that uh, a lot of people in the plant-based world would just totally uh, shrug their, their head at is Sometimes when people do need to take a step back, it's best to know what to step back to so that you don't go all the way back. And so that's why I'm a big advocate of the transition, understanding the transition, mastering it. You can always move forward. You know, you can always be more aggressive. You can and once you start to get into the transition and understand it, you can always do a, a much more aggressive fasting protocol, you know, or fruit eating protocol for a period of time. The key is it just has to be rational. It has to make sense for your own physiology. And what I find is that when you learn how to read and understand your body, your body will take you through this transition uh, uh, really with uh, oftentimes without you participating as much. And it's it's sort of as if if you understand the principle and you get your body started down this path and then you take your mind out of it, you take yourself out of it to a certain extent and just open yourself up to the transition, then your body naturally goes through the healing process. It heals what it wants to heal when it wants to heal it. See, some people come to the diet and they say, OK, my knee hurts. I've I've had chronic knee pain and stiff joints for for the past 20 years and so they're fixated on that one ailment. They start getting into the mucus's diet and transitioning and all of a sudden the the pain that they had had in their hand goes away first. Now they wasn't even thinking about their hand because the knee hurt so bad. But the first thing what the body wanted to hook up first was the hand. Then the then it then you might feel your heart being regenerated uh you know your body might go through all of these steps before it gets to your knee so you have to be patient and understand that your body basically the mucusless diet and understanding how to rationally fast is turning over your healing to mother nature you're basically saying okay i give up i'm gonna stop trying to alter my hormones with with drugs i'm gonna stop trying to suppress symptoms with drugs i'm gonna stop trying to treat ailments with drugs and i'm going to step back i'm gonna put my hands up and say i just i need to let mother nature do what mother nature's gonna do and go down that path you know and now I'm not telling anybody this to not do whatever you need to do. This is not medical advice because I'm not into medicine. <laughs> I'm not. That's not what I'm involved in. I'm involved in health and healing and understanding the principles of the mucus's diet. Anybody can get into the diet if that's something that interests them and they want to go down this path. And. I can't emphasize enough that it's a healing system. The mucus's diet itself, yes, is fruits and green leafy vegetables. But how many years does it take before you can get to that level comfortably? How many decades does it take? 
And for, for another thing, a lot of times, I, what I, some things I see in this plant-based world is there tends to be people that want to compete with each other, this competition, or even if it's a self-competition where there's this mentality of, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta fast the longest, I gotta eat the cleanest, I gotta be the best. The thing is, when I see people that have that attitude, they don't last that long on a diet. They're in and out in a year or two, oftentimes, because that's not the correct mentality to have. You want to embrace the mucus's diet in ter- a- as a lifestyle choice, something that you, you're not planning on trying to uh, uh, compete with somebody. This isn't a race. You know, this is about healing. It's going to take as long as it's going to take. And the best that we can do is to study this material, understand the transition. One thing that I really got into with the mucus's diet when I was studying it was to study the experiences of everybody that I knew who ever practiced a diet even people that had failed with the diet that might have talked about oh yes i read that that book you know <laughs> sometimes people were bitter if you're talking about it but oh yeah yeah mucus's diet i read that book years ago and i tried it and i couldn't do it or whatever you know so i w- i wanted to hear their story i didn't just dispel them like oh, okay well you didn't obviously your you know your story is not important because you didn't achieve anything with the diet I never think like that because that person still went through something in my opinion that was positive because there's still a a piece of consciousness even if they fell off the wagon they didn't understand the transition and ended up hating Eret and hating the mucus's diet which a lot of people do they'll be into the diet for and really excited because they get it because it makes sense it makes so much sense but when they fall and they don't understand what that means and what that entails that and they don't understand that when you start to cleanse yourself all of your latent illnesses are going to rear their ugly head your inherit, inherited weaknesses, genetic weaknesses, uh, latent illness, whatever you want to call it, it's coming. Instead of going through it when you were 70 years old or 80 or 60, if you were able to last that long, you're, now you're going to go through it much earlier. You'll go through it in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s or whenever you, you started practicing the diet. You're going to you're going to go through this stuff. Now, if you're you're already a bit older and and you're starting to go through some of what at one point was your latent illnesses, you know, there's no time to lose. There's (laughs) it's like you, you know, you got to get busy right now with uh, with transitioning yourself and, and getting yourself cleaned up. So anyway i I (laughs) talked a little bit longer on that subject than i than i thought i might but uh i will um, also as a sidebar i got a new microphone situation that i'm trying i've actually had this audio technica microphone for a long time but i've never really used it and so i'm kind of setting it up and seeing how this works and uh so far i like the way it sounds and so so tell me this how does this sound <laughs> so all right let's get back to arnold Eret. us. actually you know what <laughs> let me let me cut this off and i'm gonna start over again i'll, I'll just now rename what we just did as a, a, a rap about the transition and I'll do another video that sort of is only on going through some of this material on the website so thank you guys for listening have a great day peace love and breath